All right. In this video, I'm going to show you uh, what a hive looks like after I cut out. This one's been done for a couple weeks now. This is the hive, as you can see, rubber bands. They're pulling the rubber bands out from off of the uh, frames. So uh, I'm going to look in here and see how bad jacked up this uh, hive is as far as frames sticking together and stuff. Sometimes, well I haven't ever seen anybody do a video on uh, what the frames look like after they're cut out after a couple weeks. So uh, maybe this is a, a YouTube first. I'm going to try doing this without a smoker because these were pretty good bees and I'm feeling a little lazy today. So uh, we'll see what happens. Now, last time I was in this hive was just a couple days. See, there you can see where they chewed the rubber band up. It was a couple days after I put them in the box, and that was to uh, release the queen. So, let's see how they're going to react today. For some reason, I got these hanging out on the back. Very interesting. Anyway. You'll notice I didn't put a whole bunch of frames in here. The reason why I didn't is because I didn't want to uh, give them more than they could take care of. Sometimes with these cutouts, if you give the bees more than they can take care of, you end up with a mess. It might have a little bit of a mess going on here, but out oh, one on the finger. Still a few rubber bands on that one. It's a good pollen frame. This thing had a little heat to it. If you work bees without smoke, you're gonna have to move really slow. And then still sometimes you're gonna get popped. The pollen frame. See how they joined it at the top. They're doing good on that one. They got a rubber band right there. I'm gonna remove it so they don't have to. Another stain. Then when I get stung, I'll try to wipe it off with some spit. That way you don't have too many follow-up stings on that one spot. The main thing when you're trying to work bees without smoke is don't crush bees if you can help it. slow movements. Any kind of erratic movement is a bad thing and that's hard not to do today because the freaking Nance is terrible out here. So swatting at your face and all that other good stuff is a bad thing. Now in this frame I see what I want to see. I don't know if the camera pick it up but I don't want to really do a whole lot but there's a uh, you can see larva and eggs kind of in the center of that. That's what I wanted to see. That means the queen's in there. She's doing what she's supposed to do. That is a good thing. So I'm just going to check. 
I might end up checking them all just to make sure they ain't sticking. This is the plastic frame that I'd put in there. The plastic foundation that I'd put in there. And this is the one that the queen was attached to. They're drawing it out a little bit and they got a little bit of nectar in it. You can see that. I'm not really looking for the queen. If I see her, that's fine. If I don't, that's fine. I got proof that she's in there just because you could tell where she's been at. They're bringing in honey still, or they're bringing in nectar. That's a good thing. That looks like the only frame she's laying on is that one that I showed you. That one sting me on my bicep through my shirt. I'm getting to be a little pissy. I'm good with what I seen. I'm gonna put the box on this before they go go stupid crazy like they're doing right this minute. Yep, time to put the top on it. I think I got hit six times that time. But just looking at that, we can kind of tell that the bees are doing good. We can also tell that just because they were nice in the cutout don't mean they're going to be cut out nice in the box. Uh, that's kind of the thing you run into if you... Uh, Check hives without smoke, sometimes you can do it, sometimes you can't. But uh, the hive's doing good. That's the update on that. Uh, now you can see kind of what the hive looks like after a cutout and you band some of the uh, frames together. So, uh, hope y'all learned something from that. Uh, like and subscribe. There'll be more videos coming up and uh, we'll see you on the next one.